One Piece has been a series that's deserved a fighting game for a really, really long time, and in this interview with the CEO of Arc System Works, they discussed the possibility of One Piece having a fighting game. So, this interview is a few months old at this point, but I've wanted to talk about it for quite a bit because I feel as though Arxis is teasing us more and more and more about One Piece having a fighting game. So, we're going to look at this little article right here. We're going to run through it, and of course, it doesn't seem like it's going to be One Piece related at all, but they throw in a little, little sneak, little teaser right at the end. So let's scroll right down to that. Now, Kido Oka is the CEO of Arc System Works, and he was obviously in this interview. And as a final question, the interviewer at IGN says this. Finally, I'm going to bring up a game that is, I think, a dream game and the idea of fighting game fans. And it's something that often gets brought up as something that they want to see Arc System Works do. Do you have any thoughts about potentially ever doing a One Piece fighting game? Kidooka says, As I said before, I want to work with other people and use what resources we have to create a fun fighting game for the FGC to really rally behind. However, One Piece is something to think about. I can't say whether we're thinking about One Piece specifically. I can't say, oh yeah, One Piece, yes or no. I can't say either way, but it doesn't mean it's decided or doesn't mean it's really outside the realm of possibility. You really have to understand that we're a small company. We can't take up any project that comes across and we have to consider resources. This is something that I've read countless times and I've really tried to wrap my brain around because Arc System Works actually has made a One Piece fighting game. Through the resources they had with Bandai Namco, they were able to create this 3DS fighting game with One Piece and Dragon Ball, being able to even have crossplay connective tissue with each other, which was really sick. So Arxis already has the experience in making a One Piece fighting game in some sort of fashion and has an idea of how the characters might play out. While this obviously isn't the grandest game ever, it's no Dragon Ball Fighters by any means, it definitely means they have some potential with the One Piece franchise. This has me thinking. This quote obviously right here is super vague, so they don't want to say yes or no to anything to get anyone's hopes up or to dismiss the idea whatsoever in case Bandai Namco actually wants to make a One Piece Fighter Z-esque scenario, which means they have experience with Dragon Ball before Dragon Ball Fighters and One Piece, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, before a One Piece Fighters-esque thing. Are we just constantly going to get these little teasers? Because as I said, this interview was literally from months ago. Evo, obviously, is going to be in August, so we have two months to wait at this point. But I really just hope that we get some more stuff. Now, I wanted to talk about this other article from GameRant.com. And they basically made an entire article talking about this little teaser right here. I personally really, really hate this type of stuff because it makes it feel as though that they're just teasing the One Piece fans. Like, hey guys, it's a possibility. It's going to be crazy, right? It's going to be so awesome when it eventually comes out. But the main thing that I'm worried about isn't One Piece's legacy, it isn't One Piece's popularity, and it isn't One Piece's potential for a roster because we know that One Piece has an absolutely massive catalog of characters that would be absolutely amazing in a fighting game. They even use the artwork from Pirate Warriors 4, which while it isn't a fighting game, it is a game where you fight and it's a bunch of variety in it. So it goes to show that there are literally dozens of One Piece characters that could fit in a fighting game. My main worry is not only how are they going to do it with the intricacies of the devil fruit system, hockey, a bunch of stuff to make each character feel as balanced as possible, but when are they going to do it? Because One Piece isn't really at an end game sort of stage yet. I know that might sound crazy since we're literally in the final saga, but I think if there's a One Piece game right now, it would be the literal perfect time. We already know Luffy is not going to get any stronger. Oda has confirmed this with Gear 5, and Gear 5 is going to be Luffy's peak from here on out, because he literally wrote that into the dialogue. And Gear 5 being one of those moments in anime history at this point is going to be a super big deal. If there is going to be a One Piece fighting game, having it happen right now would be the literal perfect storm. The Gear 5 episode in the anime is going to release on July 29th, if not the week after because of this delay with the anime having a recap episode. Meaning, in late July to early August, there's going to be this absolute wellspring of One Piece hype that has never been seen 
since many, many years ago with Marineford, where the series literally reached an all-time peak. In August, what else is going to happen? EVO, this massive fighting game tournament. Now, when Gear 5 finally gets animated, people are going to lose their minds and think, wow, look at all the possibilities, look at all the things you could do with this character. And then, in EVO, if there's a reveal of One Piece fighters, not only does that thing look amazing, but there's a game where I can play as that thing that looks amazing. So many people got Dragon Ball Fighters because of how amazing it looked, and I'm fully confident that the people at Arc System Works would be able to make something One Piece related that looks amazing as Dragon Ball Fighters. With the reveal of Gear 5, I truly think we're going to get something special with video games for One Piece coming in the future, but when exactly is it going to happen? Who knows? I'm personally hoping that this perfect storm will be able to provide us with the One Piece fighting game we've been waiting for for years now, and hopefully giving us that moment that feels as though One Piece has that fighting game that has as much love in it as Dragon Ball Fighters. Having a One Piece Fighters thing would allow so many people to become fans of One Piece as well, because not only is Dragon Ball just hype, one Piece is about to be on the precipice of that in North America, which is obviously this massive demographic that didn't really have One Piece for a significant portion of time. A lovely way to describe it, Straw Hat. That makes you Desert Doo Doo. There's water. I'm really hoping that we finally get that moment that One Piece finally feels as though it has the legacy it deserves in North America, since we've all been clamoring and waiting for that moment for such a long time. I really wanted to talk about this topic because I have been criminally addicted and cripplingly so to Street Fighter 6, another massive fighting game that's been blowing up like crazy. And if you guys wanna talk what you think will be in the One Piece fighting game or your hypothetical perfect One Piece fighting game, let me know down below because I've been in a fighting game mood and I wanted to talk about this topic since it literally dropped in April, but I didn't feel it had enough oomph behind it and enough motivation. But now that again, I am literally addicted to Street Fighter 6, why not? It would be fun to get the One Piece community into a fighting game mindset and giving us even more hope for the potential since Arxis is seemingly, we could put a huge seemingly done with Dragon Ball Fighters, but the roster being super filled out. But who's to say there won't be Dragon Ball Fighters 2 at Evo and we won't get a One Piece Fighters. Now, do I hope that happens? Of course not. I hope we get One Piece Fighters because the potential right now, as I said, is higher than ever. But let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you for watching and hopefully you enjoy this type of video. I'm considering doing more chill, low-key videos where I sort of just talk and give my thoughts out. So if you enjoyed this, let me know down below and let me know what you think. With that, take care and have a good one.